Shalom. Like to say our praise due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. This is just a lesson in regard to the Portuguese. Um, the crown, you know, um, basically, um, um, this is going to be uh, a lot of uh, things. You know that are uh, that's not really written about you know about our history you know because uh we are living in the iberian peninsula all right uh fleeing from roman that like, persecution during 70 a.d by the romans all right and um you know and we we we, we fell you know i'm gonna get that quick Matthew 24 because it was already prophesied when the Lord was on the scene you know that um, you know that the fall of uh, Jerusalem of the, the state of Judea right um, that Judea was gonna fall and we had to flee right we went into uh, persecution uh, a lot of our people were uh, sold you know a lot of our people were uh, sold to the like to the gladiator like the gladiator arenas right they're in rome you know the gladiator uh, no pompeii you know where uh, we were made a spectacle we were servants and um you know you know some of our people became citizens of rome as well you know like uh apostle paul Yeah, just uh, says Matthew twenty four. Matthew Saint Matthew twenty four verse fifteen. When ye therefore shall see the uh, the uh, abomination of the desolation spoken but spoken of by Daniel the prophet, which which in the holy place who who saw readeth let him understand that then then <clears throat> let them which be in the in judea flee into the mountains right because basically we had to flee you know fleeing from persecution right but um you know the the heaven yahweh shy he forecasted it and uh he told the 12 that disciples and um, pretty much we fled you know one second yeah so pretty much we uh like yeah like the heavenly father he even before uh he was on the cross he already had a council with the with the 12 and um things that will happen you know and um you know 65 to like 72 ad is when uh you know judea fell you no know, must the like must the must Masa, um like masada all right um basically um you know with the with the sakari you know they pretty much uh you know because they tried to uh like they tried to uh basically f forge themselves you know and um you know a lot of our people f uh, fell our people started eating each other you know? and um could go into that but i'm gonna just uh continue then let them which be in the Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is in the ho the house top <coughs> not come down to take anything out of the, out of his house. 
neither let him which is in the field return back to the to close and woe unto them that give suck in those days right. woe unto them which that are with child and those and them that I give suck in those days and we're approaching these things again right because that happened during you know 70 AD and uh, a lot of our people weren't prepared you know and um let to get that quick too I'm gonna get that quick Slakia. Roman persecution. So lock here one second, so card. The Sakari Slakia. This is the Sakari. Alright, so Sakari. Um were splint splinted the group of Jewish zealots who's or or not Jewish, Judah. Alright. Alright, because uh they were fighting against, you know, the Rome, you know. But um you know the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is so, his 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 son, he already warned us of these things, right? So, you know, I know, uh, you know, uh, like before he was, uh, he was being, he, he was hanged on the cross, right? But so during like 33 AD when the Lord, um, he already foretold us of these things. In the decades preceding Jerusalem's destruction in 70 AD, strongly opposed the Roman occupation of Judea and attempted to expel them and their and their sympathizers from the area, all right? And Sakari carried Sakari or small daggers concealed in their cloaks, all right? So they're carnal, all right? And they're back again, you know, call themselves, uh, the, you know, Sakari now, you know, they wanna rap, have weapons and all this stuff. Um, you know, like some of these people on the march, the IRAC and ICPK and do all these rap music videos and stuff. You know, like they're doing the same thing back then. All right. But um, those who are people, the, a lot of our people left, left, you know, um, a lot of our people left Judea and a lot of our people migrated into uh, Egypt. You know, North Africa, you know, Carthage, Tunis, um, also, um, you know, the Iberian Peninsula, you know, Morocco, or Algeria, you know, those whole regions, right? West Africa, you know, fleeing from the Roman persecution. Um, and this is just gonna be, um, uh, Just a lot of our history, right? This is all of our history, right? Because basically, uh, s uh, um, 
the Revelation, right, which was written by uh, Saint John, all right. And um, you know, uh, 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 um, like he revealed these things, right? And uh, basically, uh, you know, he was the last one. You know, he was on. He was in the salt mine, and pretty much, the, um, you know, he, he 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 like he wrote a lot of his visions and and things down, right? And like that's why we have the Book of Revelation. All right, by uh, Saint John, not John the Baptist, the other John. All right, so like the military order of Christ or the Anointed, right, which has been Yahweh. All right, the military order of Christ is formed former order of Knights Templar. Right, so like this was our people were doing over here. Yes. Um, over here in Europe, right? Because you know we were on the throne. You know when you read about um, the five um, good emperors, all right, and basically uh, like Septimius Severus, he was, uh, you know, he's the one who overcame and basically, uh, I mean, the color of seven, and basically um, thirty thirty three A.D. You know, with um, you know, Constantine the Great. You know, they had a pact, and basically uh, they established the church, yeah. And they uh, they used uh, like hell, you know, as well as um, you know, all kind of different types of doctrine. You know, with uh, the Mary worship, you know, woman worship, you know, um, you know, and all that kind of thing like to make profit all right and uh, like that's what they did like that's what our people did all right during the middle ages all right it says uh the the knight templar the poor fellow soldier of yahweh or and of the templar of solomon all right and that's what we're building right now all right but even though um you know, like we're spiritually building that order again. Also known as the Order of Solomon Temple, the Knights Templar, as simple and as simply the Templar, was Catholic military order, one of the most wealthiest and and popular of the Western Christian, of the Western Christianity military order, right? So. That's where our people were, man. People were knights, you know, where, you know, we were on top of our game. And we had like a lot of knowledge and wealth, all right, and power and resources, man. All right. Now, you know, like look at uh, people like, um, you know, James, what's his, uh, what's his name? You look at LeBron James, how that tall that guy is and whatever. But he's, he's uh, shaking hands with a damn Amalek, man. All right, because they have our people don't have no in, no integrity, man. But this is the military order of the, of uh, Christ. Is a former order of the Knight Templar. It was was reconstituted in Portugal. All right, it's before 1910, it was was known as the Royal Military Order of the Lord, of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, which is not you know Jesus. You know, you go into the the word uh, J. You know, during, during the 1700, the, the 17th century, like there was no J, or whatever. You know, when you have a 1611 Bible, there's no J. All right. All right, you know, and this was uh, established by our people, all right, and basically, um, you know, we had like a lot of different types of uh, order and council. Let me uh, let me get some some of my points here. 
This is uh, from the golden age of the Moor. I'm going to get that. This is a very good book. Written by Ivan Serdama. Alright, which he's, uh, um, I think he's from Guyana. He's from Guyana. Alright, and uh, he goes... He goes very, he went very in depth, you know, um, this is a good book to buy or you could, uh, buy as a PDF, but I normally, I bought these, I bought a lot of books, man, because end of the day when, um, uh, when the EMP goes down, like you won't be able to access this. So these are good books to buy, um, you know. Hopefully, like you, you, you could buy it used. This is gonna be page 350. All right, this is uh, the figure six. It says, uh, the Royal Herald on horseback summoning, summoning King, King Henry the Eighth and the challengers, like, and the challengers to a like to a Justin torment held on Friday 11 15 11 AD before his wife Queen Catherine right because a lot of our people were still on the throne throughout um throughout uh, England you know Fran France you know Denmark you know our people were still on the throne one of the trumpets is uh more more where moors were an everyday sight in moors were everyday sight in tador england right and more just means black all right because uh, a lot of the moors they were converted to to like like to to islam or if they weren't converted to islam a lot of them were converted to catholicism Right. says uh page 351 the afro iberian peninsula moors were responsible for almost all geographical lore which the european it says primarily it's the portuguese and the spanish used in their global expansion that's what it was it was a global expansion right with these military orders when you read about the crusades and all that the sarsarans or the saracens all right they, they were jake and also um ishmael all right because uh because they were living in the land of um you know you know like what they call israel yeah right? and we were living in those lands are right, under the the damn uh, Ishmaelites and also the Persians, and that's why um, you know the Byzantine Empire. All right, they um, it was funded, you know, by the Byzantine Empire. You know, also um, you know, like the the crown the crowns of um, you know of the uh, of UK or. Um, United Kingdom, you know, France and certain things. We were uh we were fighting like to obtain back our land. Alright, but um it wasn't that time, alright, because prophecies wasn't fulfilled. Their knowledge was divided into three three main three main categories. It says the systematic geographic it's like a the systematic the geographies and the economic it's like a, the uh, the eco postulic it's like a, the eco pastic who incorpor it's like a, incorporated the the lore of the ancient with with the discoveries of their contemporary 
contemporaries it says the the astronomer it's like it says the astronomers it says the astronomers and the Judas who set out the groundworks for navigation um the cartography and um lastly the traveling it says the travelers and the and the collectors of travel account um thus probably the this thus providing the thus providing the, the um the, like it says thus like providing the, the descriptions of the world right because our people were very uh like knowledgeable of of the seas of the 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 uh, stars, the elements, you know, and um, we are very vast with a, a lot of knowledge. It says, um, "This is page three fifty one. This knowledge is provided to be a great value, not only to Prince Harry, Saka." to prince henry all right which because he was a navigator but the other iberian explorers who were to claim vast land mass mass for portugal and spain all right because uh we had like a different we had also all kind of uh trade routes certain things um page 32 much praise was heaped on the royal head of prince henry for the great part he played in the each said the early portuguese exploration he was even been immortalized in the volume of of a history of prince henry the navigator but what remains is said minimizing and almost unwritten in the page of the history of the europe is a global expansion is the vital very vital role in the moors moors played all right because we were very uh knowledgeable of these things and we had our uh different we we are knowledgeable of these things, right? Because pretty much, you know, um, you know, when Esau was coming back to power, you know, like they had to use our people, you know, like to navigate and, and they basically, um, you know, a lot of our people were already, you know, that came to the Americas. Some, some of our people were living in uh, certain parts of Europe. You know Germany, Holland, Netherlands, and so on, and um, it's very vast. It says um, Prince Henry the Navigator, but what remains, it says minimizing and almost unwritten is the page of the history of Europe and its global expansion is the very vital role that the Moors played, for without their scholarship right. Uh, writing, writing, and their extensive master of science of on uh, of navigation, um, cart car or like cartography, astronomy, mathematicians, and voyages of the Portuguese and the Spanish would not have taken then all right because if they did because we knew everything man and um if you want you know like they had to learn a lot of skills from us right and that's why um the khazars you know they pretty much uh, like they learned a lot of knowledge you know from you know from the jews you know like from the real jews and uh, because we had a, a heavy trade route, man. We had a heavy influence, man. So, like, yeah. Gonna get some water. One sec.
Yeah, cause there's a thing called um. When you go to Jeremiah, it says uh, for Jacob's the former of all things, right? Because we're the pioneers, man, of this. Let me just get this Jacob. I think uh, Jeremiah ten. Jeremiah 10 and 16 the portion of Jacob is not like them for he is the former of all things and Israel is the rod of his, his inheritance the Lord of hosts is his name all right because we're very knowledgeable of the seas navigation you know even after slavery you know our people are, are the ones who who uh, our people did many inventions our people were doing all kind of different inventions, man. All right, and um, you know, a lot of our people patent, you know, a lot of our people patent their work, but uh, Esau, he reaped like the benefits. All right, but you know, if you uh, look, you look into um, black, so-called black um, inventors. All right, so we're the one to uh, says Israel the former all things. So we're you know that we're the one to uh, you know that we're the original trendsetters, man. All right, because Esau is just a, a copycat, you know. This is alright. Um, but uh, Jeremiah 10 and 16. But uh, power of Israel is not of is not uh, no idols. He is the creator of everything that exists, including Israel. His own special possession, the Lord of Hosts. Heart armies is his name, right? So we're the Lord's army, and we're the ones who's um, we we do his bidding, man. All right. All right. So um, you saw he got a lot of uh, his knowledge, you know, from the so-called Moors or the Jews. All right. So far, the Jews. Who expanded and came to the Americas? Uh, this is also this is one too for Jeremiah ten and sixteen. This is for uh, the Golden Age of the Moor, written by Ivan Sergema. Uh, he was a uh, is a Israelite. All right, you know one of the tribes of judah are what you know um very knowledgeable um this is uh page 352 it says uh that it says portugal it says the moors carried the man it says the moors carried like it says the moors carried the manufacture of um a kind of leather in which they were at, Acknowledge the ex the excel. It says to Morocco. Um, it says the Moors also introduce invention of uh, more ominous nature guns, powered powder, um, artillery. All right, so cannons, all those type of type of guns, you know, cannons and all those things was you know was created by us. All right, because that's why. Um, you know, Prince Henry the Navigator, he was able to uh, get do a lot of things too, man. Yeah. And also, um, you know, our people, you know, they had certain ships and stuff, right, to fund the certain wars. It says, uh, most more, 
Kosaka. But uh, of more value to Portugal and Spain was was um it says word was the introduction of, of the marine of the marine compass sometime which aided the explorers of Iberia to gain control of the vast expanse of the new world all right so that's what it was all right because um you know also uh, prince henry the navigator he he went through um you know certain parts of uh you know of uh, west africa you know angola west africa and so you know certain of those you know when you read about him and uh he was very uh he was very uh very vast in his knowledge one second 